What's up, YouTube? It's Sarah from Loss of Sarah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Tonight is Christmas Eve. It's December 24th, 2012. I promised I would make a uh, video just talking about some of the challenges that I've been facing as a new post-op uh, around the holidays. So I'm going to talk about that in a little while, but before I do that, I wanted to give a shout out to all the um, newly sleeved guys and girls out there. Um, I subscribe to quite a few people who have been sleeved just in the past week or so. So I wanted to give a shout out to my girl, the Curvy Jones. Welcome home. Glad to hear that you're doing well. Um, and Zeta Star Diva, and What About a Seventy Three, and Diz's Journey. And if I haven't, if I've forgotten you, I'm sorry. Um, but I just wanted to say, you know, congratulations to all of you. So glad that you're all home and doing well before the holidays. And uh, can't wait to follow your journeys. So. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about Christmas time, shall we? So today's Christmas Eve, tonight is Christmas Eve, and I am home all by myself, which really kind of sucks. Um, you know, I have lots of stuff to do. I've got some of uh, Shelly's ricotta bake baking in the oven, which is probably what I'm going to actually have for Christmas dinner tomorrow. Um, I have some wrapping to do. I have some cooking to do for Christmas dinner tomorrow. We are going to one of my aunt's houses, um, which is you know, generally speaking, what we do. So we're usually at my mom's or one of my aunt's houses for a Christmas dinner. Um, my whole life, pretty much, I have spent Christmas Eve at my parents' house having a big Christmas dinner um, because I, I mentioned this in prior videos, but my father is Italian and my Italian grandparents lived with us. And, um, in Europe, in a lot of places, and in Italy, Christmas... Eve is really when the big Christmas dinner and all that stuff happens. Christmas Day is actually not as important, um, culturally speaking. So we always had a big Christmas Eve do, and then, you know, we were always at my mom's side of the family for Christmas Day dinner. So things have, you know, changed as I've gotten older, obviously, over the years. My grandmother, unfortunately, has Alzheimer's, and uh, um, both of my grandmothers have Alzheimer's, actually, unfortunately. So neither one of them, although they're both still alive, participate in Christmas anymore, which is really sad. Um, and, you know, there's always that childhood nostalgia of having that, like, Christmas at grandma's or whatever. And so Christmas Eve was, like, my Italian grandmother, my nonna's big day, you know. And she got to do Christmas Eve dinner, and we had fish, and we had all the traditional Italian things. And my mom sort of carried that on, too. Um, this year... I'm stuck at home. Um, my mom's still having New Year's or Christmas Eve dinner, I should say. But uh, she invited some friends over, and I just didn't feel like I was ready to do holiday dinner with people who don't know that I've had surgery and that I don't really want to tell. Kind of a long story. But one of the people is an incredibly huge gossip. And as soon as she found out, she would literally tell every person, like every Italian within a 50 mile radius would know that I had weight loss surgery. And although I've said before, I don't mind if people know, I would prefer to be the one to tell them. I don't want it to be a big gossip item. Um, so I don't want them to know. And I don't want to have to answer their questions. And so I'm being a total suck and a puss and I'm avoiding it. Um, my husband took our kids to his uncle's house where they usually have a big, um, Christmas Eve thing going on as well. Um, and again, there's going to be probably 40 to 50 of his family there. And I really don't want to have to answer their questions. I just don't feel like I'm up to it. And so I begged off of that too. And to be honest, I would have really liked to go, but just, I don't know not feeling mentally in a place where I feel like explaining my story over and over again to like 50 different people. So that means I'm stuck at home on Christmas cooking, or at least on Christmas Eve. So tomorrow we're, we, tonight actually, we're going to sleep over. So my kids and my husband and I at my parents' house, we can have Christmas morning with my parents. And um, then we'll be going over to my aunt's in the afternoon. Last night, uh, one of my best friends has a Christmas party every December 23rd. So we were at her house. Um, I had actually made, I had been baking and making stuff for her party. So um, she loves these lemon squares that I make. And one of my other friends um, loves this Dutch gingerbread that I make called Spiklas. Um, which is probably the only like traditional Dutch thing that I know how to make. Um, 
And so I made spicolas with my kids um, for him. I made lemon squares for her. I made jalapeno popper dip for the party. Um, and I thought it was going to be hard to like bake and cook at this point, but really it was kind of fun. It was kind of soothing. I didn't mind doing it. Um, so I don't know, but it, then again, I'm the one who like obsessively watches Food Network. So I don't know if everyone would be able to do that, but for me, it actually was, um, it was fairly enjoyable, I guess, to do the cooking and the baking. And then today I booked, bu no, let me try that again. I, I, I made a um, cheese and veggie tort um, for Christmas Day tomorrow. And I'm also making some um, antipasto style appetizers as well. So I've been around food all day and yet I haven't actually eaten anything yet. So it's like six o'clock and I haven't eaten a thing today. I've had protein shakes and, and you know, some beverages like water and whatever, but I haven't eaten yet. So um, that's why the... Uh, Ricotta bake is in the oven. <laughs> um, so, you know, I guess my strategy was just to avoid a lot of the Christmas parties, to just avoid all the food and avoid all the questions and avoid all that. Um, but it is hard because I feel like I'm not really participating in Christmas, which sucks, to be honest. Um, yeah. And it, like last night, I did pretty well. I had... Um, over the course of the whole night, I had two halves of a deviled egg. Um, I had a meatball, like a small, like Swedish meatball. I had a tiny, tiny bit of the jalapeno popper dip, like literally like a teaspoon just to try it. And that was pretty much it. And I also had a protein shake later on in the night. So it wasn't as hard as I thought, but I'm still kind of bummed out about having to sort of miss out. And I'm looking forward to next year being more normal. I mean... Being three weeks post-op, yeah, I just still feel like a total freak as far as what I can eat and when I can eat and all of that. So, although it's been challenging, it has not been as bad food-wise as I thought. The part that's been bad is the emotional, mental part of it, which I didn't expect. So, dealing with food, no problem. Dealing with people who don't know that I've had surgery, dealing with eating in front of people who don't know... Dealing with having to miss out on stuff, that's been the hardest part. So hopefully your Christmas has been more inclusive <laughs> and hopefully I'll have more exciting, you know, uh, stuff to report next Christmas when I'll actually be able to participate a little bit more. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a bit about that and um, I wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great day tomorrow and I'll see you soon.